Wow, so this is Tennessee. The weather's crazy. We had a night storm last night. Roads were covered in ice, it was horrible. And just snow, look at that. And we're supposed to get more snow in a couple days. This is just nuts. I'm moving to Florida, wow. It's like this, it seems like every year now. This is not, you know, I keep hearing once in a lifetime flood, once in a lifetime storm. Bullshit. They say, controversy, you know, the green effect. And the, they haven't done nothing to the environment. Really? This keeps up. I'm going to be buying a snowmobile for Tennessee. I'm eight hours from Florida, man. I'm just on the edge. This is nuts. I tell you, the birds really appreciate that. They're eating that bird food up like crazy. If you don't got a bird feeder, go get one. It's hard enough they got to sit out here in this freezing cold than, you know, sit here and put up with this. Wow. This is just nuts, man. Friggin' nuts. I wonder how many people actually in Tennessee have ice scrapers. I really wonder about that. You know, here I'll give you a look at my uh, my kid's car. That's pretty much what the cars look like. That's my kid's car. He doesn't even own an ice scraper. Not at all. He don't have an ice scraper whatsoever. So I don't know. I got one. Probably have to borrow mine. I don't think he works today. Even the clouds. Wow. Look, look, look at those clouds. They're, they're gray, black. That's just horrible, man. Now, most people in the north, I mean, they're pretty. Most people in the north are pretty smart. They're usually, you know, prepared their vehicles. They got a hat, they got gloves. You know, inside my vehicle, I actually carry, um, Three winter coats. Inside my vehicle, I actually carry three winter coats. Now, why three? They don't really take up a whole lot of room. But, um, I got three in there. In case I, I got a passenger, you know, that was stupid. You know, a little light coat. Not smart enough to put in. Put anything on proper in the winter. You, you, you gotta think, okay? Even though I got a fairly new truck, you know, it's got 40,000 miles on it, it can break. Don't don't kid yourself. I've seen new vehicles break. I've seen them along the state highways. I've seen them go down. Not having stuff in your vehicle, you know, a winter coat, gloves, hat, you know, nice hat. Just having some extra stuff. If you break down and you got to walk, I've even got, because sometimes I wear my Crocs, I've even got shoes in there. That's what I got. My Crocs are okay for, you know, short little walks, like even outside here right now. But not, you know, not for no hiking five or ten miles if something happens to my vehicle. So, no, I got a good pair of uh, shoes in there. Now, this ain't cold enough where I got to worry about my feet getting cold. I'm even out here in my Crocs right now. But I don't even know where we are. What are we? 20, 25 Fahrenheit. I mean, that's nuts. 20, 25. And when you feel the wind, that's when it hits you. Especially when the wind hits my face. Oh, that's when, it, that's when, you, that's when you feel the cold. If the wind's not there, well, then it's not too bad. And you, and you take these light gloves here. These little, um, what are these? You know, mechanics. I got them at Walmart or someplace. I mean, they're a very thin glove. Very, very thin glove is what they are. But it's enough to take the edge off where your hands ain't freezing. So having a good pair of gloves, a hat, a winter coat, a pair of shoes. If you haven't done it yet and you've watched this video, go put some in your vehicle. I'm telling you, it breaks down. You're really going to say, I'm glad I got this stuff in here if you got to get out and walk. Especially in this weather. You know, it was funny. We were... I was actually 60 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday, and within four hours, four hours, we went down to um, 
I think it was 25. And then the rain, because it was raining the whole time, and then the rain stopped. Everything froze. Roads, my house, everything. And then it picked up again, and then we got freezing rain. But this is horrible. You can't even do nothing. All you can do is um, watch YouTube videos, watch movies. You're putting in dead time. You know. You're putting in time just waiting for this to pass. Well, it is January, right? Another month February, another month March. And maybe we can get out and do some backpacking. Paying attention to the weather, boy. Ooh, that's important. Paying attention to that weather? That's important. Really important. I mean, I had actually thought about going out for backpacking for one night. And if I would have went when it was 60 Fahrenheit, I would have thought, man, it's hot. It's beautiful. And then if it would have hit, you know, that 25, oh, I would have been in trouble. You know, and not only that, if I would have took my dog Luna, she would have been hurting. She's not used to this cold. Not at all. Even when I bring her out, she's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> now, we had a cold spell. Um... Last week, never snowed like this though. Never snowed like this at all. We had a cold spell though. And I lasted about a week. And everybody's pipes in my town were freezing. Oh, they're freezing. Their pipe, my, everybody's pipes in town were freezing. And they were breaking. You see water out the street everywhere. This guy here, my next door neighbor, he hasn't lived in his house now for. I don't know, almost two weeks. His pipes broke, he had water all over the front. The one day I was outside, I heard his wife yelling, yep, it's definitely broke. I was just like, wow. I guess he stayed in family, I don't know. I installed what's called PEX piping in my house. And PEX piping is, I don't know, I think everybody should have it. Because last week, when we had that cold spell, my pipes were frozen, I was completely froze. And this happens when we get a cold spell in Tennessee. Because I don't heat underneath my house. Because I don't have a basement. And it's an old house, you know, 100 years old. But the very next day, I think it was two days the pipes were froze. Then what happened was they let go and everything's fine. But with PEX piping, P-E-X, go YouTube it. You'd be surprised. It's, um, it freezes, but the pipe expands a little bit. It doesn't break. With the plastic piping, like my neighbor had, once that freezes and comes untaught, boom, you got water everywhere. And it just lets loose. But um, if you can afford it, and it's not a lot, look in the PEX and redo your whole house. Get rid of that plastic piping, put PEX in, and when it freezes, you're going to relax. You're going to say, oh, well, it froze. And then when it lets go, doesn't break you're not climbing under your house to fix it oh man I must have climbed under this house 50 times since I bought it to fix crack pipes not anymore no that 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 pex is amazing now it can still break but I've not had it break oh my ears get cold and we don't even get that cold here oh there goes a the bird the birds are um they're sitting low. They're low down to the ground and down in the trees is where they are. And I don't see them moving too much. I do see them around my bird feeder. I do see them around that quite a bit. I just filled it up yesterday. They've already got it half gone is what they got. And I run two different types of bird feed. I run the sunflower seeds too for the uh, blue jays and the other types of birds. So I guess we get more snow in another day or two. And uh, in Tennessee here, this weather totally sucks. I do have equipment, if I go backpacking, I do have equipment I can take it down to, I don't know, probably 20, maybe even 15 on the edge. But why? Why go? I mean, it's not going to be much fun for my dog. And, and she loves backpacking. So, I mean, if I had to, okay, fine, is it there? When I am backpacking, if I got caught in something like this, 
on my way out. But it's not something I'm going to say, hey, let's get out there and see how this feels. No, thank you. No, thank you at all. And right now I've got a, I might wear, i got a t-shirt on and polyester t-shirt. I've got a fleece jacket on. And I've got one of these cheap puffies on, hat, gloves. That's about it. Like I said, it's about 25, 20 Fahrenheit out here. We got snow. Um, I don't know. I could probably use another piece of clothing underneath this. But I mean, I'm warm, but I'm on the edge. I can feel it. If I was walking, I'd be warmer. But I'd definitely be wearing everything I got on if I was walking. Most of the time, your puffy jacket sits in your your backpack. Most of the time with a puffy jacket, normally you uh, carry it in your backpack and you only put it on when you get to camp because when you're in camp you start to cool down now. But, no, not when it's like this. Wow. You know, the, the clouds are even telling me. You know, we're it's not going to get warm. They got that distinct color where they're saying you got more snow coming and it's going to be colder. The clouds are talking to you, and there's even a little light flurries coming down. Not too bad. It's trying. It's just horrible weather. What about you guys? I mean, I'm only eight hours from Florida. It's not supposed to be like this. So what about you guys? Are you guys, like, cold? What's the temperature where you live? Let me know in the comments. Anyhow. Oh, man. You even feel your nose getting stuffy. Do you know I quit smoking three years ago? I think it was last week was three years. And I still get cravings? Freaking crazy. But I feel good. If you're smoking, quit, man. Quit. Oh, You'll save so much money and buy so many toys and buy more junk than you need. <laughs> Anyhow, guys. It's freezing here in Tennessee. What's it doing where you're at? And I'll catch you guys on the next one.